Hello and welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. My name is Vilkata and today we're going to break down a Station Hopper Gecko. Now previously we have done a heavy cargo gecko, but these are a little bit more challenging because they have a, an inner shell and getting these done in four shifts is a lot more challenging. So we're really going to try to get this done in four shifts, but as you'll quickly see, it's much harder to get everything out because of this inner shell that it has that the heavy cargo gecko does not have. And all this stuff should be mounted on the inside so nothing can pull off. So we're going to go straight inside with this one. Also, this one has the airlocks up front. Everything's Airlock pressurized. Pressure levels yep. dropping. We're really going to try to get this done in four shifts, but it's, it's really challenging. You can get a, the bulk of it done in four, but that, uh, that inner shell is just too heavy to move. So there's got to be a lot of cutting done. Airlock pressure levels dropping. So we really got to be on top of getting through this quickly. It also takes longer in these to empty them than in a heavy cargo because there's a lot more stuff as you're getting ready to see. Pressure levels increasing. Yeah, got all of this stuff. And of course, it's broken. <laughs> uh, let's look for anything that's floating around. There's nothing floating around. The room in the back is pressurized. off each chamber behind us that is also broken there's no door in the cargo room but there aren't any uh, floating cargo containers that's good come on we need we need one working oh boy this is starting to look bad come on all right we got a working Pressure level decreasing. Alrighty, now we can go through here and decompress one chamber at a time. that and that all right it didn't do any damage though that's good problem is, is okay no, that's all good all right yeah 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 so we just have that one back room that is still pressurized this guy right here I missed my Crap. Okay, okay, we're good. So, another thing that is a little more challenging on this one than the heavy gecko is that there's no easy way into the floor. So, we're gonna cut ourselves a little bit of an opening here. Get our way in this way. With the heavy gecko, you can just float your way around it. So 
I'm going to be quick about this, or I'm going to, I'm going to speed it up. I'm pretty much just going to be doing cutting right now. I'm also going to need to go into the cockpit and remove the front items. If you did not see my heavy cargo version of this, the items in the front seem to hold the front of the ship to the cockpit. And I've not been able to successfully detach it without removing certain front items. So I'll have to go back into the cockpit and do that in a moment. But let's go ahead and speed up the removing of the basic items off the walls and just the generic cutting of the walls here. Alright, that was a little, a little close there. So we've opened up a lot of this ship already. Processing valuable objects. Credits away. I have not yet gone into the cockpit and removed the uh, pieces necessary to move it. Just kind of wanted to get some of this clutter out of the way first. Warning. Oxygen reserves are low. That guy's not moving. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. What did we not cut? Valuable objects processed. Alright, he's stuck on something. Cut it. You got and I'm stuck on something. <laughs> Knock out that work order before they turn the lights out on you. We will. Alright, well, we'll figure out what he's stuck on in a moment. Let's make sure it's not that heat sink. I know they're not touching. Oxygen reserves are critical. Affordable all right, all right, lady. supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Oxygen level stabilizing. Yeah, it's the bottom panel that's stuck on something. The top one is freed. Get these things out of our way. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. What are you hanging on to? No, but it looks Object like on the other side of them being cut. These should not be connected. Alright, well. It'll get freed up eventually, right? We'll come back to it. I'm not gonna dwell on it. Huh. I guess that was it. Alrighty then. Get rid of that bad boy. And 
and let's head inside. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. And get ourselves access to the cockpit. After we grab a couple of things here. Nope, nope, nope. I just want Salvage that. deposit accepted. Credit Console. transfer. Thank you. Broke this guy off, so let's move him too while we're just thinking about it. Alright. No more dilladallying. Get back inside. Open, please. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. I'm not gonna ask again. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. So all of this stuff is you're gonna need to cut out the floor for basically all of it. And so we kinda work our way from the front to the back so that we get access basically to the floor so that we can cut it out a little bit more cleanly. And we can get in and out just faster. And that's kind of the challenge to this version of the gecko. Is it takes a lot of time to cut all that flooring out, and then the, the shell that you're left with after you're done is just way too massive even for your tethers to move. Okay, I think that's all of it. Don't need to move. I guess well, I don't think we need to remove the seat. I'm gonna do it anyway. And then let's get back outside. Don't waste your time with all the stuff that's in the middle because you're gonna. eventually gonna throw it all out through a floor. Cut it. We're getting down to the wire. Let's put a bow on this shift. So we're gonna pull this away. And that should break loose as long as we didn't miss anything. Deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Alright, we'll revisit that in a minute. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for it to break free. Hopefully, we didn't miss anything on the inside that we needed to break off. And 1.1 million is not a bad first shift for a gecko because it's mostly about preparing the vessel for the future shifts. So let's move on to shift number two. <laughs> I doubt there's all over the place. All right, let's figure out why this is not coming forward like it should. There's nothing to be cut on the other side, so while it's still tethered, let's head back in, break off a couple more pieces. I do a lot of geckos, and so I know that if we take these off, it should free it up. Yeah, that's... Yeah, see, now it's going. Just gets a little uppity sometimes, doesn't want to cooperate. Now I'm stuck in here until it gets away. <laughs> uh, let's move that out of the way. Let's see if I can sneak out. Alright, alright. Salvage secured. Account so we'll cancel the tether. Sure, nothing, nothing went along with it in the middle. Nothing did. So we can go ahead and chuck this guy in the processor. And while that's traveling, 
We can start emptying this, like, emptying out the entire cockpit. That might have broken Salvage the tether. Secured. Credits deposited. It sure did. We'll get it all twisted around in knots. Uh, we need to be quick about this because a lot of stuff to move. We, you know, you know, we're trying to make four shifts, but and this is all electronic, and we don't want to collide. Cause an electrical arc to basically set everything on fire. All right, I'm going to speed up real quick because it's going to. There's a lot of stuff to remove. Alright, so standard strategy here for the geckos. You know, this cockpit can be on either side, but once we empty it out, we can cut it off. Make sure we get the corners, because those corner pieces are always. the braces always get in the way. These days, I'm going to stop collecting those lights. Get this up above the ship. Send it to the furnace. Okay, I'm making sure I got the console off of that door. I did. I don't think I got it off of this one, though. Did not. Valuable object process. Credit deposited. I know I still have ladders floating around that I'll get around to them. <laughs> Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Well, we want to get as much clear of the bottom of this as we can, so we can start cutting it out. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Guy out of there. Is he free? He is. Rewards increasing. That, yep, he's free as well. Alright, that's an aluminum panel, so I don't want to use the spreader. I'll tell you the, the range upgrades on the precision cutter are so helpful. I still have the default range on the spreader, because the spreader is already pretty good range. And I don't want it to go any further, because it's going to make it harder to not cut things in the background that I don't want to cut. Okay, that's one piece. That's going to... Cutting this off anyway. Salvage 
But you gotta pay attention to those things, because it would have just dragged it all in there. And we wouldn't have got credit for it. Raw material processed. Credit deposited. And that'll free up the last of this. Oxygen reserves are low. Reminder, asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Processing valuable objects. Credit Let's go ahead and get the oxygen now while we're out here because I'm going to be inside and I don't want to waste the time. This is one of the benefits of having a second upgrade Oxygen level stabilizing. on the O2 is that I don't have to wait until it's completely out to, you know, go and recharge it without risking having to come back for a, another time. Raw material process. Credit deposited. <laughs> I cut a little light there. I was trying to trying to break out the terminal. I'll move all the stuff off the ground. A lot of times I drag it out of the door, but really, if you can be careful and f cut out the floor, you're better off. You know, when you're dragging it out that little doorway, you have a bigger chance of banging it into something. And it forces you to be more delicate. So it takes longer. Material deposited. Oh! That's not good. What? Uh, Note that excess electrical damage has been found to negatively impact long-term job satisfaction. You know, I said more delicate. I didn't say you didn't have to still be delicate. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. That's all right. Doesn't look like anything was was destroyed. I think you can see why this often takes five shifts because, you know, we're closing out on the second shift and we're still, you know, kind of towards the front of the vessel, plucking things off of walls. <laughs> It's a lot of stuff, but it's a lot of money. It's good salvage. These are definitely good vessels. Salvage secured. Can I fit this guy to the door easily? Here we go. Alright, is that everything? Looks like that's everything. Alright. The other benefit to cutting these floors out is that we're reducing the weight of the shell. And that's ultimately going to become an issue uh, later on. And don't feel bad if you, if you have to abandon the shell. I mean, it is just all aluminum, mostly. So, you know, if, if it comes down to you miss the shell itself at the end of your last shift, you're not going to come back for it because it's just not going to be worth that much. And you can definitely get your level 5 achievement milestone without the shell. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. So much stuff. Salvage secured. Credit deposited. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. Salvage 
salvage secured. Account credit applied. So you give it a little tug and then let go of it so it can bounce around and turn itself to get out of the room. Alright, no door handles. Spend the last minute getting all this stuff off the ground. It's gonna make it a lot easier to not only to cut the floorboard off, but you don't want to have to detach this stuff from a floating floorboard. So much as we can cut before the session ends. Gotta make sure we get those brackets in the middle. Whoop. Not exactly getting this fast, am I? All right. 2.6 million. Still not bad. I mean, we dumped a lot of stuff. Alright, we gotta really push it for him to get this done in two more shifts. Check the rooms to see if you missed anything. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. You want to be careful about cutting these at an angle when you're near the wall. Sometimes it won't cut all the way through, which is why you see me always edging my way up to the wall instead of cutting it from long range. Like if I cut it from this angle, like right here, it wouldn't actually cut all the way through. A corner piece of it would catch the, the wall. Alright. You know, I actually want to get this all the way to the edge. way. Make sure nothing's attached to the bottom of it. Deposit accepted. Alright. So this is just going to be a lot of tossing stuff, so I'm going to save you guys the pain and just beat it up.
Alright, I think we've mostly cleared all this out. There's probably a console in here. But... So there's another one up above us. No, there isn't. Okay. So now we need to deal with the back half of the ship. So we're going to start by getting rid of the caps. Now, unlike the heavy cargo gecko, there are no rudders on this one to peel off. Make sure. Yeah, <laughs> just double check and make sure nothing's pressurized. Doesn't hurt to double check. top pieces and I get into the back and free up those thrusters. So, well, if this is actually attached to anything. Let's see if we can drag it away. No, it's not moving. Things, see, anytime things aren't moving, just try to free up large items. There's this that weird, you know, I assume it's a bug where there's a kind of an object collision that will stop things from from moving even though they're not really touching. And it always happens with these items. Heat sinks are a big time problem for that. Oxygen level stabilizing. No aluminum on that guy. All right. Free up the heat sinks. Here, I'm going to go inside and show you. This guy's clearly not touching. I mean, I mean, they're touching, but they're not connected. It's just they're just physically running into each other. And that can be especially a problem on one of the ghost macros where where an AI node will uh, be on a, on a uh, fuel tank and stuck into the wall because of it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. All right, let's free up these nacelles because we already did. Or one of them at least. Valuable object processed. Credit awarded. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Hurry up and get in there, please. In the way. Let's grab this guy and hold him to the side. Make sure he doesn't get caught by the furnace. Right. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. OK. 
Okay, this guy's got all kinds of stuff attached to him. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Let's see, we'll lift him up just a little bit here. Cut this aluminum off of him. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. It's probably gonna be attached to here. Time for demo charge. Stay away from the forest, buddy. Come on. Come on. Alright, he's clear. Deposit accepted. I can unlock these guys. nice things about this over the Heavy Gecko is that there aren't as many fuel tanks in the back. The Heavy Gecko is lined with fuel tanks. And they're just time consuming to remove all of it, you know. Also the other thing is that the back piece is you know, separated like that. In the uh, Heavy Gecko it's all one big piece. Furnace. All right. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Time is winding down. Right, let's see if we can get these thrusters out. Deep and let's finish strong. Unfortunately, the back moved, which makes it a lot more challenging. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, not gonna worry about it. Let's move these back plates out of the way as best we can. Probably need to cut some pipe real quick. Seven million. Okay, so we're gonna try really hard to get this done in one more shift. It's not sure it's gonna happen. <laughs> I think mean, we're gonna finish this next shift is whether or not we're gonna get the inner shell in. So, all right, let's go for it. All right, shift number four, do or die. Now, there are corners that we can cut, like not cutting out these heat spreaders. Let's get all this stuff out first. Carefully. Secured. Credits deposited. Object accepted for processing. Okay. Credits deposited. That. Get these 
these out of the way. a tether by doing that. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Don't hit me. It may not be obvious, but I'm actually reeling these in a bit to make sure that they're clear of the walls when I swing them around. But I'm only doing little little ticks at a time, little reeling ticks, because I don't want it, I don't want it to come flying at me at Mach two. Let's see if we can get away with this. Now this guy is going to be dangerous. There's a probably about a 40% chance I'm going to... You know what? I'm not going to even risk it. If I try to take him straight to the furnace, or to the processor, he's going to end up in the furnace. So, let's just go ahead and get those guys. Let them, let them do their thing while we're doing other things. Ourselves free here. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. Okay, be real careful because of the coolant pipe is down there. Let's find a better angle for this. Let's just get this side off. Always those little edge brackets that don't get cut. I'm not gonna worry about those lights. Just gotta, I gotta, I gotta commit to not always salvaging those lights. They're not valuable. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Material deposited. Bigger fish to fry. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Alright, I'm not a big fan of this reactor because it's sitting on a plate that's blocking the way down and I don't want to cut that pipe because it's the Solid coolant secure. and I don't want to shut off the coolant because deposited. then it'll start the meltdown. So, we're going to set an angle, we're going to grab and drag at the same time and charge, reactor fire, oh, Urgent action required. it's okay, all, all we want is, no, we want to get away from the ship. Alright. <laughs> Okay, that didn't go as smoothly as usual, but we got it 
the, 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 the most important outside. thing about the reactor is to get away from the ship as quickly as possible before the uh, electrical arc can start to destroy things. Now we shut down the ECU. Now it's safe to cut these pipes. And cut the ECU out of the room. Actually, we get one more cut. I didn't mean to cut the pipe like that, but until yeah, I now. Deposit accepted. You can drag that out, but it is heavy, so it's just better to drag it out like this. And then cut it off the backboard. If it kind of stopped moving on me. there, that goes there. Alright, 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 alright. Yes, I'm grabbing the light. I think, I think we got pretty much everything except for the shells. And the uh, power generator and the fuses. So let's start moving those guys. Power generators last. Let's find the fuses. Not on that side. Two of them over here. Now remember, if you pull the power generator before the fuses, then it burns the fuses out. And as always, wait until the light is off before you. Reminder: asphyxiation can lead to missed salvage quotas. Before you grab the fuse, or you get electrocuted. And I believe there's one more. Raw right, I don't see it. I don't, I don't know that I want to waste the time looking for it. Oh, that's it right there. We looked right over it the first time, didn't we? By we, I mean me. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm going to get these guys going in the middle, and then I'm going to spend the last five minutes trying to cut, cut my way into the, uh, the inner chamber. Make it light enough for the tethers to actually drag it into the furnace. Oxygen level stabilizing. So let's grab the power generator. Okay. We've got about five minutes left in this shift, Cutter. Don't bite off more than you can chew. We were out. All right, we're past the point of no return. There's not enough value left in this for another shift. We've got our tier five milestone. So let's just start cutting this thing up. Try to make it as light as possible, as you know, sectioned off as possible. Cutting out that floor helps a lot because that's something we don't have to, you know, disconnect. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Quick glance, Deposit there's no door accepted. handles. Alright. I know there's lights in here, I'm not going to worry about them. Let's try right here. Okay. 
I'm not gonna lie, it's kinda satisfying to just go ham with the cutter. See, that stupid support there on the edge. Alright, I'm going to probably make a mistake here, and I'm gonna try to cut out some spreaders. Just real fast. If I had time, I'd cut the aluminum off the back of them. Material deposited. But we know we don't have the time. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Okay. Don't crush me, please. Probably don't have time to cut any more of them off. We have one more barge item, which is the terminal on this right here. Credits awarded. Might be all we're gonna get in. All right, Cutter, wrap it up. You got about a minute left. Don't know what I'm missing, but I'm clearly missing something. Inner wall, there it is. No way we're getting this over there in time. That's alright. I mean, look at how much we got. That guy's gonna make it. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Deposit accepted. I believe in you. So close! <laughs> All right. Oh man, look at that payday. Six point four. Yeah, see a little bit of the shell, but this—that's the whole point, right? I, I spent a little time cutting out the heat spreaders. The question is, were they worth the little bit that I didn't get in? You know, had I not spent some of the time picking up some of those lamps, some of the lights, probably could have got it all in there. But it's tough. It's tough to get that in. You know, in four shifts. And, and get all of it, but uh, that was a pretty good run. I'm really pleased with that. And uh, yeah, and you know, most important thing always is that we got our fifth milestone and just a ton of Lynx tokens. So that's gonna wrap this one up. Thank you very much for joining me here. And uh, I hope you found this informative and uh, entertaining. You know, these are, these are not about following through the career, even though I am in a career mode. It's about how to, and if you liked it, leave a like. I said, you know, leave me a comment if uh, if you would like to have done something differently, or uh, if you have a better way of doing something. But hopefully, I will see you guys in a future episode.